often times patients or their relatives of patients who are very critically ill in ICU or have just been admitted to the emergency department ask us or ask themselves the question is ECMO appropriate for their uh, patient or their relative. Uh, in order to understand the usefulness of ECMO, you have to consider the reason why one does ECMO. ECMO is nothing but the support of heart and lungs in an artificial manner until the original organ recovers or it buys us time to do a transplant or to make a decision if the diagnosis of the patient is not known. You can broadly divide the use of ECMO as in patients who have lung failure or heart failure or combined heart and lung failure. If a patient is unable to be ventilated and their oxygen level is dropping or their carbon dioxide level is building up, all of the organs in the body will begin to fail. Here ECMO will be very vital in supporting all other organs as well as reducing the pressure uh, that the ventilator is delivering into the lungs. This high pressure by the ventilator in the lungs has been associated with an increased death rate in patients and ECMO helps reduce this. In a patient who has had a recent major heart attack, prior to uh, fixing the coronary block or the uh, blood vessel block in the heart via a stent or surgery, you can optimize the patient using an ECMO as well as during very high risk valve procedures. Another indication for ECMO is the use of ECMO as a bridge to transplantation where the organs may not be immediately available. In certain kind of viral diseases, until the virus passes and the infection passes, you can support the organs, particularly of use in COVID as well as myocarditis. These are some of the uh, indications for ECMO in patients who are critically ill.